welcome dear students today we are going to discuss about nucleophilic substitution reaction at allylic and vinylic carbon atom nucleophilic substitution reaction at allylic and vinylic carbon atom so nucleophilic substitution reaction it is shown by we know that it is shown by alkyl halides what happens is alkyl halide it reacts with a nucleophile and gives a product where the incoming nucleophile replaces the old nucleophile here the incoming nucleophile is oh minus it replaces the older nucleophile which is x and the older nucleophile is expelled expelled out as leaving group it is expelled as a, out as leaving group so this is what happens in nucleophilic substitution reaction now this reaction can proceed through any two routes either of the two routes either it can be sn1 route or it can be sn2 route but that route depends up primarily upon the kind of substrate that we use here see if it is a primary uh, substrate it will go through the sn2 route and if it is a tertiary substrate it will go to th uh, through the sn1 route there are also other factors that determines whether the reaction will proceed through the sn1 route or sn2 route like the leaving group the nature of the leaving group how strong or weak it is and the nature of the nucleophile how strong and or weak it is so it also depends on these things uh, thirdly it depends upon the type of solvent and the temperature that we have that we have in the reaction system so these all factors determine whether it will go through the sn1 or the sn2 route the product of the sn2 route is an inverted product and the product of the sn1 route is inverted and retained both forms we will get so the configuration we will get both forms in sn1 while the configuration of the product in sn2 will be an inverted form whatever the configuration is whichever the route reaction takes whatever the conditions of the reactions are the final product will be only one and one in this case it is an alcohol in this case it is an alcohol whether it is a primary alcohol secondary alcohol or tertiary alcohol depends upon the r group that we use depends upon solely upon the substrate the product is only one and that is a alcohol so that is all about nucleophilic substitution reaction in alkyl halide if you want to know more about nucleophilic substitution reaction kindly refer my earlier videos on sn1 and sn2 reaction now let us look upon nucleophilic substitution at allylic and vinylic carbon atom before discussing this we should know what is allylic and vinylic carbon atom so for this i take an example of one propene or simply propene so this is simply propene now this one is a allylic carbon atom this one is a allylic carbon atom what is its speciality it is a sp3 carbon atom which is joined to carbon carbon double bond an sp3 carbon atom joined to carbon carbon double bond is an allylic carbon atom these two these two are vinylic carbon atom what is the speciality of vinylic carbon atom yes they are part of the carbon carbon double bond they are those carbon they they are those carbon atoms that form the carbon carbon double bond so though ca those carbon atom that form the carbon carbon double bond are called as vinylic carbon atom and the sp3 carbon atom which is joined to ch double bond ch2 group is called the allylic carbon atom now first we will discuss about nucleophilic substitution reaction at the allylic carbon atom so i shall rub this heading we will discuss allylic carbon atom so for discussing allylic carbon atom let me uh, take the example of 1 chloro 2 butene 1 chloro 2 butene so this is 1 chloro 2 butene 1 chloro 2 butene 
for convenience let me write it like this fine and right you can compare this this is ch3 ch double bond ch ch2 cl right so i am going to react it with a nucleophile this is allylic group okay this is the allylic there are two allylic carbon atom here right this is one allylic carbon atom right and this is also an allylic carbon atom both are attached to ch double bond ch okay but our allylic carbon atom of interest is the this one because this one is directly linked to the leaving group so substitution should occur at this carbon atom so we are interested on this allylic carbon atom our interest lies on this allylic carbon atom so now i have written it like this this is ch3 ch double bond ch ch2 cl this is one and the same thing only okay now what would happen if i am reacting it with a nucleophile like oh minus what is the outcome of the reaction what is the outcome of the reaction to determine the outcome of the reaction we should first predict the mechanism that it would take whether it would take the sn1 mechanism or it would take the sn2 mechanism if we predict that we can predict the products okay so i will complete the reaction at last after uh, discussing mechanism so i'm going to write it at the top okay i'm going to rub this and write here this is what my problem is to find out the outcome of the reaction what is the outcome right so i'm going to put a line like this okay let me this let us study the substrate first can you see the substrate here this substrate there is chlorine here it is electronegative in nature it pulls the electron right these are all electron pumping groups it pumps its electron to chlorine and not only that there is an excessive pi electron two electrons are excessive two pi electrons are excessive they are also pumped and it is pulling and it is successful in having uh, its uh, one electron correct uh, it, it is successful in pulling that electron so there is no doubt that because of these electron pulling and this uh, electronegative chlorine atom pulling itself and these groups pumping its electron there is no doubt that chlorine will go right and this would ionize so what is the word that i used the substrate allylic substrate there is no doubt that it would ionize do you know ionization which root it occurs in yes it occurs in the sn1 root so the reaction pathway the most is the sn1 pathway okay i hope you understand how we found out that the reaction pathway is the sn1 pathway what did i say this is very electronegative there are four groups which are pumping groups not only that they pump their electron there is a excessive pi electron pair which is also pumped so chlorine tends to go and this tends to ionize ionize and ionization occurs in the sn1 pathway so the most probable pathway that this substrate would take is the sn1 pathway there is another reason why this substrate won't take sn2 pathway sn2 pathway cannot be taken by this why because substitution should occur at this carbon atom correct but for uh, in sn2 pathway backside attack should take place am i right yes but is there space in backside not at all because these are all 1 2 3 this is a sterically bulky group so attack from backside is also not possible for this carbon atom front front side it is okay from backside it won't be so much fine right it is not so possible from backside so it's sterically hindered from backside because of the sterically bulkier groups at the backside so that is one of the reason that it won't take sn2 pathway it will take sn1 pathway because of ionization and the reason for ionization i have, we have discussed so there are two steps in sn1 uh, pathway the step one is ionization of the substrate ionization of substrate so let us now see how it will ionize okay i'm going to draw this again okay 
now here we have got CS3 here it is CS3 okay and here we have got CL it would ionize when it ionize CL minus would go right CL minus would leave and what we get is Am I right? When CL goes, this goes and positive comes here. Correct? When CL goes, this bond goes, right? This is a bond only. This is the carbon atom. This carbon atom becomes positive. We get a carbocation, right? Fine. Okay. So we got a carbocation. Now this pair of electron. Uh, it will go it will what it will do it will jump here right to negate the positive sign this carbon atom will pull this electron pair here so we get a second carbocation a second carbocation which will look like this and positive sign will come at this carbon atom so we got carbocation a and carbocation b so there are two kinds of carbocations that we got so what we are seeing here is that the carbocation here the intermediate carbocation it undergoes rearrangement rearrangement of what rearrangement of the double bond okay to the allylic carbon atom rearrangement of the double bond to allylic carbon atom this rearrangement to allylic carbon atom of double bond is called as allylic rearrangement what is it called allylic rearrangement so now we have got two kinds of carbocation till now we have only seen one kind of carbocation for alkyl halide but for uh, allyl halide we are seeing two kinds of carbocations the carbocation 1 which is the normal and expected carbocation and the carbocation B which is carbocation owing to arrangement rearrangement of the double bond to the allylic carbon right so we got two kinds of carbocation now step two is what is step two what is there in the reaction system other than this <laughs> we have the nucleophile correct so we will step two the attack of nucleophile attack of nucleophile which is a nucleophile here OH minus and how many carbocation two carbocation right so this is the first carbocation the normal carbocation which is expected yeah this is carbocation A and carbocation B this is carbocation B right now both would react with OH minus and for carbocation A, we get this kind of product, which is the normal product, which is expected. And for carbocation B, we get this kind of product, which is rearrangement product, because this is what we got after rearrangement, allylic rearrangement. So this is called as the normal product. Well, this one is called as rearrangement product. So we got two kinds of products because we got two kinds of carbocations, right? If you look at this, what, hap what is happening here? What is happening? Okay, fine. The rearrangement is happening. Fine. I agree. I also agree that double bond has rearranged to the allylic carbon atom. I also agree that it is called allylic rearrangement okay all these things I agree but what happened here if you are looking here in simple words you can say delocalization of the pi electrons has happened the pi electron was here now it is delocalized to the adjacent carbon atom so this is owing to resonance owing to resonance only that two carbocations are formed owing to resonance only that two products are formed correct I hope it is clear. So now we will write the, we will solve this which is on the top of the board. What is the outcome of this reaction? 
what would happen if allylic halide allyl halide is reacts with the nucleophile we get two kinds of products the first is the normal product and the second is the rearranged rearrangement product the first is the normal the second is the rearrangement product why so now we have seen that the allyl halide it would undergo nucleophilic substitution reaction it would choose sn1 pathway and it would form a carbocation an intermediate carbocation in this carbocation there would be allylic rearrangement allylic rearrangement means there will be rearrangement of the double bond to the allylic carbon atom we have seen and that would lead to two carbocations this two carbocations this allylic rearrangement is because of resonance it is because of the delocalization of the pi electron pair correct and that would result in two carbocations and the oh minus would attack the two carbocations and we get two kinds of products one is the normal product the other is the rearrangement product so all this happens because of resonance or delocalization of the pi electron pair these two products are formed because of that so the products what kind of configuration what would be the stereochemistry of the products that are formed remember it is a sn1 reaction so both the products whether it be, be whether it is a normal product or the rearrangement product both the products are of which configuration sn1 yes both product inverted and retained right inverted also will be formed retained product will be also formed with preference to the inverted product dear students that is about vinylic carbon atom dear students this is what happens at vinylic carbon atom nucleophilic substitution reaction at vinylic carbon atom in the second part of this audio video we will look at nucleophilic substitution reaction at the allylic carbon atom if you have liked the class and if you have understood it do not forget to like it share it and subscribe it thank you very much